Put your hot ass breath on it. Yeah, bang. That shit won't melt, nigga. Damn, I think I messed it up. My breath really is hot. <laughs> but anyways. Oh. 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 All right, get the thing. <laughs> yeah, you bugging. You bugging for that. You know what I'm saying? 100K. Indeed. Surprisingly. Indeed. Because, bro, we don't even upload. No, bro. Bro, last time we uploaded was uh, last week. Was it last week? It was last week. You know, I... I... <sighs> Anyway, uh, school. Make <laughs> look nice and pretty. Now, nah, anytime I'm good. Was that right? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> oh I can't. What would you say? My fault. <laughs> anyways, man, we about to react to some. Uh, casual, oh yeah. Casual. Oh yeah. Casual yeah, geographic. You be confusing me with the National Geographic and casual, man. Casual Geographic: Ten horrible ways animals can end you. Now, when we speak about an animal ending. What comes to mind? A tiger, nigga. A tiger, Lions, yeah. Lions, Sharks. Oh, yeah. I don't like uh, sharks, bro. Uh, hey, I don't really know. Wolves? The, the oh, sharks. yeah, wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope y'all didn't think you were safe just because Halloween's over. This video was actually supposed to be posted on Halloween, but, um... Yeah, you're kinda late. I don't even have an excuse. It's oh, wait. like that. Oh, nah, supposed to not only is he late, but we late. Oh, November? Oh, yeah, he yeah, late. He late, late, man. But, but, but that was November 12th, bro. Right now it's December, bro. We a whole month late, too. Hey, that's okay. Hey, that's, that's yeah. okay. We never said we upload. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on. Fuck. Every time y'all click subscribe, fine print. We don't upload, bro. Stop playing. Hope y'all didn't think you were safe just because Halloween's over. This video was actually supposed to be posted on Halloween, but, um... <sighs> I don't even have an excuse, it'd just be like that. Not much of an intro this time, so here's 10 horrible ways animals can put your autobiography in the history section. Damn. Not necessarily in order, but it does get brutal, so I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Viewer discretion is very much advised. That's the only warning you're gonna now get, and that music starts oh, it's up. Also, I kinda owe y'all more Halloween content, so if this gets a certain number of likes, I'll do a part two. All that aside, let's get to the content. Indeed. Oh, oh yeah. a hippo. You know, uh, that, that, yeah, that looks When sweet. you think of some of the apex predators on the planet, you might think of heavyweights like How lions, does it open the door? bears, crocodiles, oh, and of course you got the biggest bully in the ocean. Not the seal, but the killer whale dragging it. But what you yeah, probably don't think of is a prehistoric steroid gecko found in only remote islands in the world. The and that's exactly what makes the Komodo dragon one of the most underrated killers on the planet. Really? This homicide lives <laughs> more than 10 feet long, weigh nearly 200 pounds, and swim and can run faster than your mental health is prepared for. <laughs> this video isn't sped up, but the most lethal thing about them is something you can't see. The Komodo dragon has up to 60 razor sharp serrated kitchen knives for teeth tough enough to dissect the full grown buffalo and tear flesh in chunks. Damn, but it's damn. how they catch their prey that's unsettling. It was believed that a Komodo septic bite was potent enough to cause his victim to retire to a bacterial infection. Really? But it turns out this modern day dinosaur uses a toxic venom that it injects into its prey. This venom reduces the body's blood clotting abilities and makes it more likely for you to bleed Where's out. Where's the teeth? Though? Yeah, that shit look gummy, <laughs> gummy. They don't got the teeth. That shit look gummy, gummy, that that shit look gummy bro. That's what I'm what saying. You talking about? Unless that them uh, retract, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, on some fangs, on some shit. Yeah, he be like, you want to see my tooth? Yeah, yeah. This venom reduces the body's blood clotting <laughs> abilities and makes it more likely for you to bleed out once wounded. Other symptoms include lowering of blood pressure, shock, and muscle paralysis, and that last one's gonna be real important later. Damn. The venom's so powerful that just one bite can be a death sentence for a tank like a water buffalo. What the which fuck? means Komodos don't have to waste energy trying to chase down a meal. All they have to do is critically wound their prey and then wait for them to die. And because these uh, reptiles are time pee, left behind, are only found on remote islands, and they have a borderline disrespectful sense of smell, there's almost no point on the island you can go where this lizard Liam Neeson won't eventually track you down. Mm. And the reason paralysis being a symptom is such a problem is because Komodos won't exactly wait for their prey to be past tense. Just as long as they're too weak to fight back or run away. Cause these lizards will eat their prey alive with the only relief coming when you eventually flatline the blood loss. They're bullying. Oh and even God. though Venom's the main suspect, you can still get clapped by a slow, painful bacterial infection. Really like the first state. response of animals like buffalo after they've been wounded is to escape into nearby water. Going into unclean water with an open wound is how you lose your life to a horrific case of sepsis. And again, Chuck. your life doesn't have to end for his meal to begin. <laughs> Not only have wow. Komodo dragons been known to attack humans, they've been recorded seeking out human graves, digging out the corpses, and then feeding on whatever human remains they find. What? You this island is safe from a Komodo. Not even another Komodo. Because Komodo hatchlings will spend most of their childhood up in the trees. Why? Adult Komodos are cannibals that'll devour any young dragons they run into. Nah, I know, I know, come on, bro. So We're talking about a 10-foot venomous steroid chameleon a that'll monkey? track you down no matter where you go and will friendly fire its own kind. And it's only the first animal on That's mad disrespectful, bro. And that's number one. <laughs> well, oh 10, God. but yeah. We talked about these winged bastards oh, a couple yeah, of years yeah, ago, so this is gonna be a quick one. Now, plenty of birds eat other birds, 
but few are as sadistic about it as these overgrown oh ice creatures. Oh my god, you Even head. though giant petrels are scavengers, they will target and jump weaker injured penguins, as well as snatch up any unaccompanied penguin chicks they can find. Just like a lot of animals you're gonna see on this list, giant petrels will eat their struggling prey alive in groups, and they have a nasty habit of breaking in through the back door. Yeah. I can't show you, but there are videos of these boy, prison pigeons pulling eat, out the intestines of a penguin's anus. All while the penguin was alive, and these prison pigeons pulling out the intestines of a penguin through its anus. What? All while the penguin was alive and fighting for his life and the sanctity of his booty. Oh my he god! He lost both. And it's not just penguins that get victimized. Giant petrels will attack other seabirds like the albatross and put them out of commission by forcing them underwater until they drown. Niggas no drowning no way! Is it worse than penguins. The giant petrel is so vicious that once one snatches a chick, its parents usually won't even bother trying to save its life. <laughs> Maybe like, are you good? Maybe the with Mumble getting brutally shawshanked by a gang of flying booty bandits, all while his parents just sat and watched. Oh yeah, oh, we said that last time, like, but yeah. dude just came and said, excuse me, grab your <laughs> son, that's your child? <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, it's mad at you. You can jump that That's motherfucker. That's what I'm saying, bro. Happy feet the shit out of the murder, oh, bro. Oh, God. You're talking to him. Get some Tim's on. Oh, God. Get some Tim's on, boy. You start stomping. Ended up mumble uh. getting brutally shot shanked by a gang of flying booty bandits, all while his parents just sat and watched. And That's since crazy. the penguin's vital organs are protected by a layer of fat, penguins can take a lot of damage before permanently peacing out. Oh, Alternatively, shit. penguins can suffer through hours of abuse before experiencing the sweet release of death. Hours? Oh, One researcher awesome. watched a gang of about 20 petrels tear apart a penguin that had already been mauled by a fur seal until there was nothing but a skeleton with feet attached. Mm -hmm. Don't think you're safe. The southern giant petrel has been nicknamed a stinker because they'll feed on any rotting, decaying carcass. To the point where these birds will tailgate boats and consume whatever foul, putrid, nastiness the sailors dumped off. Mm -hmm. Petrels eat the same way they live, with no conscience. So if you're ever injured or incapacitated somewhere in the Antarctic, pray the hell before uh, this bird does. You won't be a fan of how that movie ends. Damn, fuck. I'm saying like, yo, what's up with that? It'll man? end the same way if you're ever chased oh, by a pack cute. of African wild dogs. In the neighborhood of lions and hyenas, these dogs are actually the most efficient killers on the plains, with a hunting success rate of about 80%. Really? Damn. These African bush cujos have a very complex and nuanced hunting strategy. They just keep running. <laughs> These killer canines can run you down at speeds of nearly 40 miles per hour for a distance of over 3 miles and in a sprint you <laughs> clock in at a blistering 45. Bro, running imagine what? running for 40 miles an hour Bro. for 3 hours. <laughs> for 3 hours. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that's, the endurance is crazy. Nigga. What the hell? <laughs> the endurance is crazy. You ain't catching me doing that. Keep them ears, like they got super These killer I'm canines saying. can run you down at speeds of nearly 40 miles per hour for a distance of over 3 miles and in a sprint. Oh, that's when you laughed. I thought you said yeah, 3 miles. Yo, you think you said 3 hours? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Why did you correct me? I thought <laughs> I was right. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing you're talking about? I thought about? you were laughing because of that uh, little pump meme. No, I saw I thought you was just saying 3 hours just to over exaggerate the 3 miles. And now, like, now, see, now, now I gotta end the video. <laughs> I'm not gonna end the video here. I'm at 40 miles per hour for three miles. Damn, I didn't realize I said hours. I thought it was miles in my head, bro. These killer canines can run you down at speeds of nearly 40 miles per hour for a distance of over three miles. And in a sprint, you can clock in at a blistering 45. <laughs> All running away does is delay the inevitable. It's like hitting the snooze button on death. Once the prey gets chased into a oh, body, body. jaws around the panicking prey snout and flank and force it to the ground. And for the third time on this list, they don't wait for you to stop breathing and start eating. And the bigger know. and stronger you are, the more you suffer. Because like they're able to put down animals like warthogs in as little as two to five minutes. But tank your animals like the wildebeest can spend the last 40 minutes of its life being gruesomely mauled by a pack of about 15 merciless murder hounds. And once the entire pack has you surrounded, there's virtually zero escape. Yeah, you're done. And African wild dogs have the unsettling habit of starting meals off by tearing a hole in the abdomen and pulling the intestines out so they can get to the organs and fat. Oh my first. god. To add insult to life canceling injury, unlike lions, African wild dogs give puppies priority and let them eat first. So not only would you still get disemboweled, no, it would be the cutest members of the pack doing it. Oh, they're that's Basically, cute. imagine being chased by a gang of animals that never get tired, while knowing once they catch you, they'll confiscate your intestines and feed on your organs. Yeah. All while you wait for the man upstairs to call your number. What could possibly be worse than oh. that? Oh! Well, nah, that's why he said viewer discretion is advised. Nah, so close your eyes. Hyenas are everything as oh, yeah, all dogs are, that. but on juice. And even though hyenas are genetically closer to cats and mongooses, hyenas basically behave like dogs on steroids. <laughs> Thanks to Lion King, people believe hyenas were just cowardly scavengers that only survived by scrounging a living off of other animals. Wait, the wait, wait is, is that rocks? Wait, is that? Well, I thought it was that a rock. Like elephant. Hold up.
Yeah, it didn't look like rocks, but he's what, inside. What like, what is this? Is that his booty hole, nigga? I don't know. He's inside that something. Get that motherfucker. That's the fucking oh, elephant. He lurking, and he was waiting for the lion to pass by, but the lion was like, like, what's up? What's up with it? You trying to say, hey, what you got to do? He looked at him like, yo. Hey, what you want to do? I'd only survive by scrounging a living off of other animals. The truth is, not only do hyenas personally murk 70 to 80% of their meals, they're actually more efficient at it than lions are. And it's all because hyenas and African wild dogs have one very unsettling thing in common. They're both serial killers on Duracell, meaning the bastards Duracell. never get tired. What wow. Spotted hyenas can run at high speeds for over five miles without even thinking about being tired. Which is why they don't have to ambush or one-shot their prey like lions, they'll just chase them into oblivion until one of them gives up. Nigga, what the- How do you run for five miles? It and doesn't help that hyenas have jaws strong enough to amputate a rhino. With a bite strength of a- What? Wait, a rhino? Nigga, is that even true, nigga? A fucking rhino, you know how big rhinos are? Big, and, but I thought like the um the skin, I thought it was like thick, like you gotta... It might be. And then look at the stuff. teeth, how is that? How, wait, hold on, hold on. It, Maybe I ain't heard it wrong or something. The jaw is like, like strong, strong enough, enough to, to amputate a rhino, nigga. So um, one of them gives up. And hyenas don't give up. It doesn't help that hyenas have jaws strong enough to amputate a rhino. With a bite strength of about a thousand pounds of force, hyenas are tough enough to eat virtually any part of an animal. They have such a habit of eating the bones of the deceased what? that their poop often comes out white. What? Uh, Wait, a for a mouth and the eating habits of a coffin. If a clan of hyenas is your serious finale, then the only thing your family will have left to bury are memories. Because once you're on this overgrown mongoose's meal prep, there won't be a lot of you left to put in the casket. And Bro. since there can be up to 80 members in a clan, and just one can take down 30 pounds of meat in one sitting, 30 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm being honest, the real reason hyenas are on this list is because of this video. And guys, y'all can feel this one. Oh, oh he went in the... Oh! oh that's the... That's the... That's the... Oh, hyenas have a devious habit of going oh, for the God. family honey pot, but it is for a reason. Hyenas don't have the ability to instantly end their prey the way big cats do. So for larger animals like the buffalo, it's way easier to perform a hands-free vasectomy and just wait for blood loss to do the work for you. Oh, Imagine oh a mousetrap on your baby factory, but with the force of the dog moose. Yo. <laughs> Yo, now nah, they bother. You know, some people have hyenas as, uh, I wouldn't say pets, but like, I've seen like videos on Instagram, like people like petting hyenas and shit, like. Yeah, but they like grew up with them, like they have them as babies and shit yeah. like that, but like. But like after this, you ain't gonna see me. Like, imagine you peeing uh, the hyena. Hey, I'm like, yo, what's that? Yeah. Nah. And I'm quiet. I'm, like, I'm quiet, bro. Yo, oh my dog. God, I need those. Next animal's probably gonna be the most unexpected on this list, but let me paint a picture. Take a wolverine, right? Put it on creatine. Give it the personality of a power tool and then dump it in the but same area code as some of the most vicious carnivores in the jungle. This face of generational trauma belongs to the sloth bear. Yes, sloth bear. the one from Jungle Book. Sloth bears may not look like much. They're easily dwarfed I didn't by even some know of the more existed. broad bears, one of which may be on this list. They're not even super notorious predators, as insectivores of sloth bears' grocery list is mostly ants and termites. Mm -hmm. But don't let the sloth in this name fool you. These furry chainsaws know how to get active. Sloth bears share an environment with leopards and tigers, and tigers have been known to actively hunt and eat them. Which is why the sloth bear is one of the most aggressively homicidal bears out there. Even though they have a size disadvantage, yeah. a pissed off sloth he has been yeah. known to drive off even the most motivated tiger. Like and sometimes these bears clutch a 2v1. And since sloth two? bears can't escape Zip. the trees like American black bears, it's like nature told us this This demon yoga will view almost anything alive as a threat, and that yeah. includes humans. Sloth bear attacks are incredibly brutal. The same claws they use to destroy concrete like termite mounts can disembowel you with one swipe. And unlike grizzlies, because sloth bears do have to worry about predators, they're much more likely to attack unprovoked. According to first hand wow. accounts, sloth bears will often maul their victims and then chew and suck on their limbs until they're reduced to a bloody, mushy pulp. Sloth bears also typically go for the face, incapacitating their victims while biting and slashing to the point where neither your mother or your iPhone can recognize you. Oh and of course, an animal that motivated you usually won't stop until you're not moving. Which is why even in tiger country, more people get sent to the emergency room by the baloos of the jungle. And if you're really unlucky, if one's able to sever a critical artery with those adamantium fingernails, then your series finale will involve you Adamantium, that's the Wolverine! One man was able to survive a particularly brutal mauling at the hands or paws of this bear. He recalled feeling immense pressure as the bear tackled him, put its full weight on him, and crushed his leg in its jaws like a celery stick. Jesus. When the bear was put out of commission, the man thought he got off easy. Until he looked at his leg and realized the bear had torn an entire chunk of his flesh to the point where he could see his muscles moving. Ew. In places these bears have been known to stab at. 
One infamous bear known yeah, as a slot yeah. dog had a human body count of at least 12 people while having also severely mauled another dozen. Oh so when I God. call this bear a box cutter with claws, I'm talking about both its personality and the way its victims tend to look after. But of course, it's not the only bear on this list. <laughs> Tiger slapped him and ran back. Yeah, he is no small yeah, no. when you're one of the few oh. animals that'll actively hunt humans, you're guaranteed a spot. Thanks to global warming, Ew, that polar bears is now now she is, bro, because of a desperate polar bear will even attempt to go after walruses, even though walruses can one-shot them with those tusks. Oh. But a starving bear will resort to putting humans on the list if they get the chance. A polar bear is like a maxed out bloodhound. They can smell a seal from a mile away, and they can even track a scent through three feet of ice. The fuck? This is why it's been said, if you see this Caucasian carnivore in the wild, it's Caucasian. already too late. There's a good chance the bear's been hunting you for hours or even longer. This is Tim Jarvis, and during an expedition in the Arctic, he was allegedly stalked by a polar bear for a total of 10 days. What? Now add the fact that they can outswim every heat at the Olympics, and sprint fast enough to get a ticket in the school zone, and you'll see why getting okay. on this ice killer's radar is a death sentence. Remember how African wild dogs tear into their prey while still alive? Bears are just triple XL dogs that are usually clamp their jaws on the prey's back to disable it. Oh, and the no. back is usually where they start eating from, with the intestines being one of the first things to get pulled out. Oh, also, polar God. bears are estimated to have a bite force of about 1,200 pounds per square inch. So they can believe they're stronger, they're stronger than the to crack yeah. a bowling ball. And if one pulse runs your back at best, you'll be a paraplegic at work. Um, the jaw strength is able to crack a bowling ball. My, my. What? Also, polar bears are estimated to have a bite force of about 1,200 pounds per square inch. Believed to be strong enough to crack a bowling ball. Yeah. And if one paw swipes your back at best, you'll be a paraplegic. At worst, you'll be a hashtag. When a polar bear puts someone on the news, you can be sure it was 100% premeditated. And the worst part of it all is that normally polar bears wouldn't see humans as happy meals. They prefer the fat, nutrient-rich seal. Oh my god, oh, imagine chilling in his big ass, ass yo! That big ass nigga come out the water. Look, my boy was, and look at this dude, he just like, was, like this, you know what I'm saying, looking around. Sunbathing and all that, man. I'm saying, he, he looked, he said, what, what, what the fuck is that? Oh, nah, no, I'm gone! But because of what we've done to their hood, now polar bear doesn't even need to see you or hear you. If you're a mile downwind of a starving polar bear, that could really be all it takes. Remember the rule of thumb. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, best get on the ground. If it's white like the president, you finna be heaven sent. Oh, damn. I thought he said if it's white, get the ball. <laughs> the African wilderness has some of the most vicious and violent predators on the planet. Some of them we've actually already talked about. You can't do that. So it says a lot that out of all of them, the one nickname is Wait, his man's trying to help him. His man's trying to help him. Buffalo raises about 200 names from the census each year. That's not counting the people that live but still get severely gored. They're also strong enough to ragdoll top tiers like lions, hyenas, and of course, people. Those horns aren't just for intimidation. When a cave buffalo charges, the hooked end of its horns can get caught under the skin and tear apart the flesh of a predator or a tourist that just doesn't know any better. Oh my God. Of course, at 1,300 pounds, they don't need horns to end you. They can oh my God! Oh, God. God. Oh, oh, God. oh, 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 Cause one of the fastest ways to get a divorce is to tell your husband to go hunt a cave buffalo cause then you'll probably go to bed single. And that's cause this Widowmaker is one of the most vengeful animals on earth. A wounded cave buffalo will often retreat and hide in tall grass or brush. Now if the hunter has more than one brain cell, he'll usually just give up and leave the beast alone. But if you make the mistake of following the injured animal, then you run the risk of getting ambushed and knocked clear into the ground. Oh my god! And after hitting you, the cape buffalo will just back up and wait for oh you to get god, back on camera, the camera so they can hit stick you again. That is oh yeah, god, god. Exactly. <laughs> just stop getting up. And that's just what one can do to you. These guys can travel in hoods of up to 200. I don't want no and these smoke. herds will often oh, circle a possible the threat, leaving no possibility for escape. Yeah. And they'll just keep circling until one eventually sees an opening and attempts to impale you. Ooh. And the same rules apply. If you're still moving, they're not finished. Oh. That kind of attitude is why lions cosplay as house cats when a herd of buffalo is involved. <laughs> and why hunting one should come with a life insurance package. And out of the entire starting lineup known as the African Big Five, these murder cows are considered to be the biggest threat. Oh but ironically, one of the most feared mammals on the entire continent isn't on this list. Oh, okay. Wait, it's not on on the list yet? No, yeah, no sense. suspense here. Hippos are just waterproof horses with a sender's address from hell. Oh, yeah, Hippos put that. about 500 names in Twitter bios a year, and the number is probably not They're nasty. famous for choosing violence with anything in their territory, from antelope and crocodile, bruh. All the way to lions, humans, and literally everything else. Look at big ass Why are you running? Why all the reason hate you? In fact, the biggest threat to a hippo's way of life is very literally often another hippo. 
Because oftentimes when resources are low, bull hippos will see babies as competition and will turn the adorable infants into fish food. Bruh. Here's a dark joke for you. Where did the baby hippo go after the baby shower? Everywhere. He went everywhere. Wow. Despite being the third heaviest thing on the planet, Yo, he life, moves hippos quick, can dude. run at speeds of 30 miles per hour. <gasps> and they can outswim you. Or technically Ouch. outrun because hippos don't swim, they literally run underwater. And oh I don't yeah, think that I remember that. Bad. But just like actress Tiana Trump, it's that mouth that makes him infamous. Bull wow. hippos have tusks wow. that can max out at 20 okay. inches long, and it can slam their jaws at nearly 2,000 pounds of force. But if you've yo, ever seen yo, one yo, eat a watermelon, yeah, you got to that little oh yeah. The biggest mistake a croc can make is pull up to a hippo pool party, because it can end up getting turned into a purse. And the biggest yo, mistake this man is eating a reptile. Like a whole crocodile, yeah, bruh. Yeah, that's how big that mouth is. Coming out of his mouth, that you know what the hell? Nah, he, he's bugging for that, bro. Like, I'd be like, throwing that shit out of here. He's like, what's it? If you've ever seen one of the watermelon, you already knew that. Which is why the biggest mistake a croc can make is pull up to a hippo pool party, because it can end up getting turned into a purse. And the biggest mistake a oh. person can make is getting too close. I hope this is going to turn into a purse. Hippos are one of those animals that don't need a reason to turn you into a statistic. Hippos don't typically eat meat, but their attack style involves using that muscle over and oh. chewing a person into human applesauce. And it's the attacks in water that are the most brutal. Even if you survive, the toll for crossing hippo territory can cost an arm, a leg, multiple broken bones, and even a punctured lung or two. Mm, One tourist guy in Zimbabwe was allegedly swallowed by this land well not once, but three times. Mm. And you want to know the worst thing about getting deep throated by this obese <laughs> animal? Hey, no. Other than the smell. It's knowing oh, yeah. that your options are to either stay inside and suffocate, or try to escape and end up negotiating your left arm in the process. As for the tourist guide, by the time he got out, he had suffered 38 bite wounds, including one so nasty it exposed his lungs and completely crushed one of his arms. Oh my god! This man rescued an orphan baby hippo from a flood and raised him as his own. He even named it Humphrey and said it was like a son to him. And then Humphrey ended up mauling and mutilating his foster father in the same river he was rescued from. Oh That's my. honestly how most movies with hippos end. Yeah. But at least hippos are so massive they're impossible to miss. <laughs> the next animal is the size of a golf ball but can turn 26 people into a very loaded story on CNN. Nah, bro. Bro, why would you? Oh you're not, God. You're not catch me. The blue that. ring octopus is a lot of things. Tiny, cute, and it's one of the most venomous things alive. It's armed with a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, and the lethal dose for a human could fit. And you said, like, when it's colorful, nigga, don't touch that shit. Don't do anything colorful, bro. Stay away, bro. Uh, you gotta that go. That shit about colorful as fuck. Yeah, like, no, thank you. Bro, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, and the lethal dose for a human could fit on the head of a pin. Hmm? Plenty of animals are venomous in Australia, from the jellyfish right down to the parrots. Yo, but there's why one does that... everything happen in Australia? Because they got all the weird. They got all, they got yeah, all that... the weird shit. Man. Every time, like something about animals are involved, I always hear Australia, and then yeah. it just. Yeah. Fact about blue ring octopus: the blue ring octopus is so small that fuck? most people don't even realize when they've been bitten. And because they're so small and cute, some people will put the octopus in their hands, not realizing they're putting their lives in the octopuses. Oh my God. Because not only is tetrodotoxin 10,000 times more powerful than cyanide, the neurotoxin shuts down muscles by blocking sodium channels. This decision can lead to muscle paralysis, respiratory failure, cardiac arrest, and then a permanent rest. Which is why the smallest thing, animals like... on this list can turn you into past tense in as little as 30 minutes. Damn. And remember, you don't feel when this blue ring Bundy bites you. Meaning you can hold it like this for three seconds and then flatline in the same hour. Oh my and if you're God. swimming while that paralysis hits, oh, you, it's up. use your imagination. Yeah. Oh, done. there's no antidote. All medical professionals can do is hook you up to a respirator and manage your breathing just long enough to keep you alive. So you're dead. With immediate medical attention, the chances of getting put in a casket by this blue ring hell spawn are actually pretty low. But with oh. a bite that's impossible to feel, it's very possible to not realize you've been wounded. And without medical attention, the chance of your soul getting evicted suddenly becomes a lot higher. Which yeah. means this lady just barely Eurostep becoming a name on a stone in one of the worst ways possible. Because nah, anything that tries this hard to be seen is probably more toxic than future. That goes for octopus <laughs> and people. Wow. wow. Bro, why are you putting it like... This last one deserves its own viewer discretion warning because in some ways it's the most disturbing animal on this list. What do you think it is? A badger. I don't even know what that, <laughs> what that look like. Does that have the highest human body count? You can be a victim well, and not, not even realize it. That's because it's believed that over 1 billion people in the world are infected with... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, what like... I was gonna say, like... Ugh, is that a worm? Yeah, yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, for some reason I was gonna say, like, a raccoon or something. Oh, <laughs> like, like, I don't you know, know like... I wanted, I wanted, like... I just thought, like, it would be, like, some something simple that we all see every day or something. People in the world are infected with... 
parasitic worms. They're especially a problem in places with limited access to clean drinking water. But don't think this is just some third world problem. All you have to do is swim in waters containing eggs and you can lose the lottery and become a landlord to these parasites. Ugh, Once inside you, these Stop. worms can cause a bunch now of I don't wanna, like, yeah, But there's one disease that really stands out. These demonic flesh ropes are filarial worms and they're as thin as sewing threads. And their favorite hangout spot is in your lymph nodes, where a bunch of them can block fluids from leaving the body. That's bad. Which can cause tissues in the body to swell almost yeah. like a disturbing cartoon. Which is how a worm you need a microscope to see can cause a nightmarish condition known as elephantiasis. Oh, I heard about that. A situation where your leg can swell to the same size and color as an elephant's. And it doesn't just give you Dumbo-sized cankles. All guidelines will allow me to say is Google South Park Wheelbarrow. Get infected with filarials and you might need one. Nope. But the unsettling Ew. is that you never know you've been violated by filarials until it's too late. Millions of people around the world are infected and a lot of them have no idea. Which means, of course, statistically, someone watching this video has to have it. If it hey, makes you feel any that. better, if you live in America, you apparently can't get infected with filarial worms. But you're not safe from the hundreds of other parasites that could turn your insides into other ones. Wow. Around the world, hundreds of millions of people are infected with parasitic worms as we speak. Damn. And if you happen to be asymptomatic, you <sighs> put a whole mortgage down on your body and you would be the last to know. Uh, and that's just about it for this video. If you yeah, actually enjoyed this video, first of all, you're a psychopath. Oh, wait, but also my Patreon is going to be in the description in case you want to support this very questionable content. In fact, you could have watched this video two days before I posted it on Patreon. But as always, please don't feel like you have to send money in order to show support. Please feel like you have to subscribe, though. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> subscribe, or I'm just going to assume you have worms. Also, follow hey, buttons. man, check the boy out, you know what I'm saying? Hit that sub button, all that. It's funny, because this video should have been up on October. Like, I see yeah. why, like, okay. Ew, now you're talking about, like, there's parasitic uh, worms in water, bro? I don't want to. That shit fucked me up, nigga. Okay. That's gross. Very educational, you know Very what I'm saying? Very educational indeed, you know what I'm saying? Starting off Mondays with some educational. Feed the brain. Feed the brain for the week, you know what I'm saying? Get your IQ up there, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Wait, man. If y'all like the video, like it. If you can't like the video, not like it. Oh, you can't be fucked up. Fuck off, nigga. Mm. Now, if you guys couldn't listen, what he said was... You talking about yo, bro? Make sure you like the video, not like it. Cause if you like the video, like it, and if you like yeah, it, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yo. 